Are you confused about the difference between folate and folic acid and why it even matters in your prenatal? You're not alone. Most women are just told to grab any prenatal off the shelf, but here's the hidden truth. What's in your supplement could make a huge difference in your pregnancy journey. Hi, I'm Stephanie Grutz, aka The Healthy Practitioner. I'm a board-certified family nurse practitioner specializing in integrative medicine. I've helped hundreds of women through fertility, pregnancy, and postpartum. I've seen firsthand how the right form of nutrients can support mama and baby. So first off, why is folate so important? Before we get into the debate, let's talk about why this vitamin matters. Folate is B vitamin, specifically B9. It plays a critical role in preventing neural tube defects in babies. It also helps support DNA and RNA production. It assists in methylation, which helps detox, mood, and energy. Your body needs more of it during pregnancy, especially in the first trimester when the baby's brain and spinal cord are forming. So folate and folic acid, what's the difference? Here's where it gets tricky, and most doctors don't explain this clearly. Folic acid is a synthetic, man-made version of folate. Folate is a natural form found in natural, not processed foods and some high-quality supplements. So when you see fortified with folic acid and a lot of junky processed foods, they're doing it with a synthetic form. But here's the kicker. Not everyone can convert folic acid to usable folate. Why? I'm sure you've heard of the MTHFR gene mutation. Up to 60% of women, I think it's more than that, but they're saying 60% of women have an MTHFR gene variation that makes it harder for the body to process synthetic folic acid. So the way that I like to describe it is that you have your your body needs to absorb and break down different nutrients. So when we have the fake synthetic form of folic acid, it has to convert. And if there's any gene mutation, it gets there and it can't convert into the flow that it needs to go into the cells. Now, when you take folate, a high methyl folate or a better brand we'll talk about later, it starts here. So like it gets passed and through the cells without having to go through gene variations. If your body can't convert the folate efficiency builds up an unmetabolized folic acid, which actually can interfere with your health. So you think you're doing something good, you're taking this prenatal, you're feeling good, but actually your body's not utilizing it and it can just build up and become a toxin. So that's why I always recommend the active form of folate, either methylfolate or L5-MTHF. You'll see that on your bottle. But cheaper isn't exactly better especially when we're talking about baby's development and overall hormone health. In my practice, I've seen women struggling with fatigue, mood swings, or even infertility start to feel better after switching to a clean prenatal or select balance prenatal, two caps daily, which has methylfolate in it. And for anyone trying to conceive or in early pregnancy, this can be a real game changer for you. So what to look for in a prenatal? Here's a cheat sheet for reading. You want to see either methylfolate or 5-MTHF, folate as l dash methylfolate. You might also see it say quatrofolate or metafolin. These are high quality forms. And I'll write these down so that you can see them as well. Avoid these if you see folic acid or if you look on the back of a bottle and there's no breakdown at all or a giant proprietary blend with no transparency. Because if they're not telling you it, I'm proud. When I put down our methylated forms on our bottle, I'm proud of what we put in our select balance supplements. So This is why I created Select Balance, because I got tired of seeing women misled by flashy labels with low-quality ingredients. I also was frustrated when I would see that some of the mainstream prenatals on market would be slathered in fake dyes. They'd be pink and blue and colors. And I'm like, what do they need all these fake colors for? Those are toxins that their body has to detox. It made no sense to me. And that was one of the real reasons where I'm like, I have to do something better. I also recommend pregnancy support powder. I use one four teaspoon daily and it has amazing sources of choline, which are also great for babies, brain development, and other high quality B vitamins. So this is a select balance supplement as well. When I was pregnant, I used prenatal complete, two caps daily, pregnancy support powder, one fourth teaspoon daily, fish oil, two caps daily, iron as needed. I chose IV iron because I knew that my body wasn't great at absorbing oral iron and vitamin D supplementation throughout the pregnancy. When your body has access to bioavailable folate, it supports healthier pregnancy outcomes, reduced miscarriage risk, especially with progesterone and folate support, better energy, mood, and even hormone balance postpartum. Remember, 
It's not just about preventing problems. It's about optimizing your body for the journey ahead. So if you're trying to conceive or already pregnant, don't settle on any generic prenatal. Choose one that supports your unique body. Even though it might be cheaper to get one of those, really spending a little more for a higher quality that is actually utilized by your body is so worth it. If you want, you can download my free prenatal checklist or shop my clinical grade supplements at select-balance.com. If you have any questions about your current prenatal, drop a comment below and I'll take a look. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.